Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we found the best moments when this generation is out of control. Now let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Why should I not sleep with 18 year old? I slept with a 122 uh, college boys. I just want to make sure I get this right. How many days? Just over two weeks. So yeah, okay. it was a lot of day, if you're trying to do the maths. Did you just approach them in the street? I'd already gone on social media, done TikToks, Instagram posts, say, hey, I'm coming to the Grand Oasis, which is like a main hotel a lot of the spring breakers go to. Like, basically, come and find me and let's make a video. When I got there, everyone already sort of knew who I was. So what was the most in one day? 22. You did what now? 22 in one day. Yeah. I mean, was there any concerns over any VD? I get tested like every two weeks, so. But you didn't test them? No. That's what I'm asking, okay. What is wrong? If they're consenting, they're enjoying it, they're reaching out to me. Please tell me that she's messing around here. Does she really not see what's wrong with this story? <clears throat> also, on my 18th birthday, hat mir Papa eine Nacht mit einer Prostituierten geschenkt. Und ich brauche die 30.000 Euro, weil ich mich in sie verliebt habe und ich sie mir freikaufen möchte. Bro took falling in love with a s**t a bit too far. I'm feeling inspired from that lady that picks up dudes in jail and stuff. So guess what I'm doing today? She's outside of a correctional s**t. And I figure I'd give me one too. Why the hell not? Everything else has failed. Oh, All right, looks like this dude's coming through. Fit. He's psyched, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Six and a half hours later. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently this is a trend. Some women are contacting inmates and picking them up. Good for the inmates. <laughs> Meeting a stranger is wild. Meeting a stranger who just got out of prison is insane. It's all a roll of the dice, Adam. Online dating, <laughs> inmate pickup. At least you, you get their information. You definitely know how tall they are because of the mugshot. It's right there. Yes. These are all people who are in prison, but at least you know who they are. Has the dating game gotten so bad out there that we are now going for our incarcerated individuals? Definitely. That prison, it's different. From fell in love to fell in love, these women lost the plot. What is this? It's okay. Uh, what do you mean okay? This is the American flag. Why isn't this, why is this? Outdated? Well, don't, don't pull it away from me. Why is this flag? Hey, hey, you want to be here, you're welcome to, but in my classroom. You can't put, you can't put that in my classroom. You support everyone. She threw that in the trash. So, but do you um, understand your position as a teacher has a lot of influence on all these kids? Do you understand that? I mean, I understand your influence as a parent has a lot of influence on your child? I, I'm going to be supportive of my child, but... You need to keep the American flag up. You don't take the American sorry, flag down. This is my you are class. no. What are you doing? This is my class. What are you? I don't understand it. The woke agenda is basically all about testing everyone's limits and seeing how far you can go before people snap. <laughs> Toddlers act out when they're not getting enough attention, and so do immature adults, apparently. Why does everybody think we Because we did. Now come here. Stop running. Come here. I look around right now, I'm glad my father's dead. Oh my god, well, man! Let me, tell, let me tell you why. What I, the hell?! I know that sounds shocking. The, f the fact that he doesn't have to see what the f*** is going on right now actually makes me feel better. Can't even call it fatherless behavior anymore. It's just plain shameless. If there are 8 million people on Earth, then how does Christian Ronaldo have 400 million followers on Instagram? Isn't that concerning? She's right. Something about this interaction was definitely concerning. I'm surprised I haven't cried yet today, but it's only 10 a.m. <laughs> Cry a lot. I was crying on the couch. On the bed. In the elevator. With my dog. Alone in a bathroom. I have broken feet at the start line of a 135 mile race. You will see as I'm finishing the race, you will see this black compression tape floating behind me. I went to the start line of that race. I trained for that race. We broke feet. And I'm laying there in the worst pain of my entire life. I'm shaking, I'm jacked up, and She's like, we gotta get you to the hospital. And I just said, just, just shut up and let me enjoy this pain. I had just climbed a mental wall that was amazing. Uh, David, 
got with your rookie here, first timer. Congratulations. That was the heat for you. I didn't even notice it. Crying might not be for the weak, but it definitely isn't for the strong like it's glorified to be. Consegue separar também o lado de você ver aquilo só como um trabalho e não ficar de certa forma, talvez excitado ou algo do tipo no meio dessa situação do trabalho em si. Então, para mim é um trabalho realmente. Então, tipo, excitação não tenho nenhuma, que até mesmo porque é minha mãe, sim, eu não sim. tenho sim, nenhum tipo de tesão por ela. E até fico é que não jogo umas vezes assim. Ah, tem uma <risos> cena que eu fiquei, meu Deus. Sério? Eu <risos> fiquei aqui, ó. Eu tava fazendo Oh, e sem querer sujou. E ele, ah, de nojo! Pô, que fedor, cara. Sério? <risos> Fiz a chuca, só que foi muito fundo e não deu muito certo. Aí na hora, é, na hora que se encaixou, eu comecei a rir. <risos> This is disturbing in more ways than one. It's making me want to call Child Protective Services, even though he's not a kid anymore. Might just simultaneously be the world's most useless but impressive skill. I'm waiting outside the ATM. Hurry up and be a good little pay piggy and send me the code so I can drain all of your money. Ooh, they just came through. I can't wait to spend your money while you're at work all day. From Findom alone, I do make five figures a month. Findom or financial domination is basically a power play where the man finds pleasure in handing over his finances to a woman. They will like send me some bank codes, I'll go to whatever bank ATM they're with and then put in the codes and pick up however much money that they are giving me. Okay, uh, 300, all right. Happy to send more if you need. I demand send another 200. So I've just gone to the ATM and what a good little pay piggy. You got out a thousand dollars instead of 500. Oh, I wonder what I'm gonna spend this on. This guy always will tell me an amount and then he'll give me a little bit more, which is fun. My longest sub that I've had and we've got a great relationship. He came to me and he said, oh, I've got this fantasy. I would love to get out a loan and give it to you. $50,000 and I was like, mm let's lower that right down because I want to keep our relationship going um, and I could see that he could comfortably pay off 25,000. And did he just give you the full 25? Yes. Heard of a lot of weird c over the years, but bankruptcy definitely takes the win. Crazy secret about your parents, that my mum impregnated my dad. What? What? Mum isn't a biological woman and dad isn't a biological man. My mum and dad both transitioned, mm. but kept their biological parts. So my dad birthed me, but lied my entire life saying it was my mom. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard on the show. Yeah, yeah, same. <sighs> That's insane. <sighs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've got no words, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think if that was me, I would stay in silence for hours. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do or say. I'd be very confused. Yeah. That's the weirdest switcheroo in the history of switcheroos. I'd take that family secret to the grave if it were me. How old are you? 23. Are you single? Yes. Why do you think that is? I'm too young. You're too young to have a man? Yeah. What gives you that impression? I want to live life. So you want to wait until you're how old before you settle down? Maybe like 27. You don't think by that point you'll be pushing 30 almost over the hill? No. Why not? Because I think that's the perfect age to start like taking life serious. So why go for the bad boys now and just give it to everybody? Because I want to live life right now. I'm not taking anything serious. And that doesn't hurt you in the long run? No. Now, I'm not saying I'm sleeping around. I'm saying I'm living life. There's a difference. So do you see more than one guy at a time or do you just, you know? Honestly, it's really hard for me to like uh, go on dates just because like I'm an introvert. So if anything, I'm seeing the most two guys, three guys, that's pushing it. But two is good for me. She belongs to the streets. Give it a year or so and you'll be seeing her at a local cat store near you. What the hell? What the hell? You just connected a circuit with a 12 volt battery and your nose ring. Hey look lad, normally I'm here to make fun of people for doing dumb You just outdid most of us millennials. We used to stick our tongue on it, and that was enough of a shock. But you, that was hardcore. <laughs>
Played a stupid game, won a stupid prize, yet she's confused over the outcome. I'm not bisexual, but it's for the girls. Spread those cheeks, baby. I, I ain't care. If you've been at the club all night, every night, I'm gonna eat that. You see a girl out here that you like, you'll eat her. But well, you see a guy. Right there, they're coming with me. They're talking to that dude, but whatever. I'm about to eat both of them tonight. <laughs> I'm about to spread one cheek on the left and one cheek on the right. I'm like, Brother, ugh. Nah, she's a known eater. Or what? She be I mean, y'all, both y'all tonight. She <laughs> what? Oh, I mean, sometimes I guess. What's that? Sometimes? Only by her? Uh, by anyone that's hot, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> you say she's hot? I'm saying she's very hot. She's like one of my close homies. Hell yeah, she's a bad She's like, anything. yes, yes, daddy. Spread my cheeks. Spread her cheeks. Uh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> whoa, brother, whoa, 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 now. Nah. You got too much dip on your chip. These girls is nasty. A lot of people, but not a dad in sight. It's crazy how this is the only planet we have, yet people still treat it like crap. Let's try to keep it together, guys. Your boyfriend mm. would sh you with his best mate. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Was he at your boyfriend or? Yeah, he was. He was my boyfriend. Yeah, his mate had a bigger than him. He enjoyed Stop watching it. me take a bigger. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think he was a little bit of a. He enjoyed that. He so were you taking like yeah. one in each hole at the same time? Yeah. yeah. Oh my is god. That, thing? that is. Oh my god. What's funny though? He's gonna if he watches this. But like after we broke up, he would still watch the tapes of. Me <laughs> this other guy and like get off to it and send me videos like <laughs> He loved those videos, yeah. Maybe he likes watching his friend more than you. Ooh, maybe. And this was down in Devon? This was down in Devon. What's sad is she thinks this is a totally normal conversation to have. The back shots gotta be crazy. You know, some women are willing to do anything in an effort to show their man who's locked up that they're not going anywhere and that they're gonna be there no matter what till the end of their sentence. And look at this young lady going as far as putting a side profile. Is that his mugshot? I wonder picture of her man who's locked up tattooed right on the side of her face you know if you think getting somebody's name tattooed on you while you're locked up is bad enough well imagine getting their whole face tattooed on you and a lot of prisoners do that never before have i seen a woman who's allegedly holding down a prisoner according to this meme right here get that man who's locked up face tattooed on their face i'm not going anywhere Look at what I done did for you. What do you What do you mean you still don't believe me? There could potentially be some real insecurities in this relationship. She definitely locked up her chances of ever finding a new man. Do you like spitting on that thing? It's got to be super wet, so of course it's got to be. No, do you like pretend this is my weenie? Pretend this is my weenie. Do you like spitting on it? What do you spit on it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He is a freak. I get that black lock. Show it. Black lock. Show who? Show the camera how you do it. Do it they again. They don't need to see that. They don't need to see that. But I really want to. No, no, no. Oh, no. oh, God damn. Man, look. She needs a tour. Do, do, uh, 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 do. She belongs to the street. If that were me, I'd burn those clothes and cut off that finger. Oh, what is it? What the f is going on? More sad for Columbia losers. You can't call it a great night if this is what you're walking into the next morning. Beach body counter for one dollar. What could you buy? I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. <laughs> Close to a Birkin. A Birkin. The are Birkin. A Birkin. Straight up. Straight up. How much one of them run? Mm -hmm. 100, 200,000. Bruh. <laughs> you running it up like that. Yeah. Finna let my guy right here add one more tonight. Are you? 
No comment. All right, so if you were to guess, how many bodies do you think these girls actually got? <laughs> I don't know. You said a Birkin and a Birkin. That's crazy. I said two Birkins, really. Two Birkins. You out here in the, in the streets. Nah, not out in the streets. I just make... Double digits is crazy, triple is taking it too far, and here we're talking about numbers that just keep going up. Don't just ask him if he needs help, get him out of there and call the cops. Fandoms are looking a lot like cults these days. So there's a few things that I don't do as a married woman. Number one, I do not cook for my husband. I only cook for my children. My husband will be making his own breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Number two, I do not help him pay any bills. So if he is short on the rent, on utilities, or anything like that, it is not my problem. I will not be helping him out. His job is to provide for his family, so I am not financially contributing to any of the bills. Number three, I do not do his laundry. I have my own laundry and my children's laundry to do, so he could do his own. I won't help him put it away. I won't help him fold anything. Like That's his responsibility. Number four, he is responsible for replacing any of his essentials, like soap, shampoo, anything like that. He needs to go buy it himself. Even if I'm at the store, I will not be replacing it for him. If he needs new underwear, new socks, or anything like that, that's for him to do. I'm not going to do it for him. I'm not going to enable a perfectly grown adult, because then they get used to that. So, no. All that just to say she doesn't respect her man or her marriage. Bet she had to take out a second mortgage on her home just to buy something that looks like a Happy Meal. If you get one dollar every single day for an entire year, then how much money do you have at the end? 165. Yes. That was too easy. <laughs> what country did the Vietnam War happen in? Um. Um. Canada. Oh. Yes. Can you name five different states? New York, New Jersey, um, Florida, Miami, and Nevada. Yes, good. That's not fair. He asked tougher questions than they do in the SATs. Okay, what's something you know now that you wish they would have taught you in high school? Even if you settle, you're not going to be okay. Damn, that's pretty heavy. What do you mean by that? Like, if you're supposed to get a day job and do what you're supposed to do, even then it's not enough. So, f*** it. And that's why we do drugs. And that's why we do drugs. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't trust someone that's encouraging others to do drugs. Probably not the best role model to look up to. Hey. Oh, how you going, love? This is my boyfriend, Derek. This is Derek's boyfriend, Ben. Hey. What I don't understand, love. What do you mean? Derek is gay, but he's straight for me, but he's gay for Ben, and Ben's really gay for Derek, and I hate Ben. It's not that complicated. No. Oh, it's not that complicated. Yeah, that probably sums up modern dating. Making sense is something that doesn't make sense. Can you guys name one celebrity with a tape? Kim Kardashian. Pamela Anderson. Kim Kardashian. Can you guys name one good role model for kids? Yes, um, um... Woof. Uh, <laughs> Barney? Uh, Elmo? Elmo? Like a person? Like a famous person, not a oh, character, a person. Um, <laughs> um, no, I don't know. <laughs> Can you think of just one? One good influence for kids. Mm -hmm. Like an actual... Oh man, uh, it's... Damn. Okay. Um. Hmm. No one gets to my mind to be like a really good model okay. for kids, to be honest. Yeah. The first question took a second, and they're still thinking about the second one.
We put a man on the moon with high tech, and then we also came up with this. I can give credit when credit is due. At least she's trying. Every time I use a rideshare, I'm forced to ride without a seatbelt because there are no seatbelt extenders. It's time to make it mandatory for ride shares to provide seatbelt extenders. Maybe she can take a break from being in the car. Maybe walk a bit. Who knows? Maybe being more active can allow her to put the seatbelt on. Let's hear it. You're saying height matters. Yeah. Men were born with their height and they cannot change they that. Cannot change you know what you changed that you were born with? Your body count because you started with zero. So right on the board, Wait, how many men you've been with? No, you don't. I do want to know I'm a because we're I'm a dog. that's okay. disgusting. A p smoking. But she's a p hey, not. A How many have you been? So, How many have you been? So wait, are you he's ashamed? Like are he's you ashamed of your body you count? Ashamed? You're not. Then write it on the board. You're boring. You're boring. How old are you? I'm boring. You got to How old are you? I'm boring. You got to be a. No. no. You settle down. No. no. Sir. no. Okay. Okay. Sir. Wait. She said she's not ashamed, but still hasn't wrote her number. Your time has come. There's no way out of this one. Oh, what so you are ashamed. What is your name? Then write it. You, I'm I'm a stupid. So, so you are ashamed. Like, You're embarrassed of your body count? Okay, say, wait, wait, don't write it until oh, he says the name. Bro, okay. this is the I'm worst, not. like, person to ever have in an interview. Let her do her No, that's my girl. Why are you? Here, might be on TikTok or some that's other. I don't give a She already openly admitted to being a so why no, would it matter? I'm going to stop filming because he called my friend a so she called her. She called herself okay, that. No, you're no, She no, literally no, said it. Rewind the clip. So Rewind leave. the clip. She no, literally said it. No, you can leave. You're you're He's young. He has no experience. His bears would You're not going to write it? You're not going to write it? never work, honey. And she put the pen down. Your, your bears won't work, honey. We're okay, in. and you're I mean, I don't know what else to say. Hey, next time I won't be so light. Wait, am I wrong if I were to hit her back? All he's doing is calling them out on their double standard. Women can judge men on their height and there's no problem. But as soon as men judge women on their body count, all hell breaks loose. And they think they have the right to start throwing punches. What's worse is that if you look closely, you can see she was even trying to gouge his eyes, sticking that thumb out there. Luckily, he docked. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.